All over the world, the work is underway on increasing flying safety. But still airplanes, for many of several reasons, crash, causing losses of lives and losses of goods. From the beginning of time of air passengers' conveyance, a passenger has been a participant in flight and has entrusted his life to the crew and airplane. The offered system of air passengers' rescue breaks this direct interrelation and gives both air passengers and crew an opportunity not to share the fate of disabled airplane. The park system is the ultimate individual group border of protection and rescue of passengers coming into action when crew and aircraft are not able to manage an emergency situation. The most important for an air passenger is the flight safety. Airplanes equipped with the park system guarantee that. An aircraft passenger autonomous rescue capsule, a park, as a part of passenger saloon, is embedded in a fuselage. Made of durable, heat-resistant and light composite materials, the capsule can rescue passengers from fire and smoke, can amortize the heat, stay afloat in water. Its full autonomy and capacity for withdrawing a parachute within one second Having begun dynamic self-braking, allowed to rescue passengers even at extremely low altitudes. Taking decision on evacuation of the capsule with passengers is the task for high-capacity computers equipped with the appropriate programs which consider the whole experience of emergency situations accumulated by aviation and besides the possible crash scenarios. The main criterion for choosing evacuation of the capsule will be the time required for ensuring an acceptable speed of landing of the decent capsule. From a variety of emergency situations known from the history of aviation, let us consider the situation of engine's failure during flight. In places of attaching wings to a fuselage, along the fuselage, and around the fuselage, between its forepart and the pilot cabin, capsules and rear part of the fuselage, there are elongated hollow charges embedded. By blasting these charges, it is executed almost instantaneous exploding cutting of the fuselage and its skin that will lead to the detachment of the fuselage fragments from the rescue capsule and will allow to activate the parachute braking system. The rescue capsule is equipped with a parachute for retarding horizontal velocity, main parachute and original self-braking system guaranteeing soft landing for passengers. Let us consider functioning of the APAC system in case of emergency at takeoff or landing. Because of the low altitude, the evacuation of the capsule must take minimum time. This means simultaneous activation of the elongated hollow charges that release the capsule from the fuselage skin. Then the main parachute is forcibly activated, immediately comes into action the self-braking system which ensures prompt filling of the parachute canopy and hovering of the capsule above the ground surface. The main parachute of the cabin is activated. Let us view the scheme of the APAC system functioning in a passenger aircraft. Specific character of a passenger aircraft is the availability of several capsules for rescuing passengers and goods and accordingly slightly different from the shown above scenarios of evacuation of the capsules. In case of emergency, an aircraft warning is sounded and the passengers immediately take their places. The doorways of the capsule and the pilot cabin are hermetically closed. The commands are given to activate the elongated hull charges that cut off the airplane's tail end and wings from the fuselage. 
then goes out the flank parachute, which